Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start off by brushing my hair. So I brush it all out. And then, ugh, my hair looks ugly. This makeup looks does not match with what I'm wearing, but. Use a one and a half inch barrel, which this is a wand. You can find these on Amazon. You could buy these at Target. You could buy these at Walmart. Um, I don't remember where I got this from. Honestly, I don't remember. I really don't remember, but this is just a one and a half inch wand. I sectioned it off in three sections. So the first one is the smallest one which is the bottom row. Now, what I do is I, let me put the mirror over here so I will see what I'm doing. So basically I grab like about it. It depends if you want your hair, your curls to be tight, you're gonna wanna go maybe like a less than an inch so they could be tighter. If you want sort of like not too tight but you still want them to be a little bit tight then i will grab like two inches i grab that much of hair then i grab my wand and now you want to place it on top like this and then curl your hair back like this so you're just curling it back not frontwards backwards you know so like this and then I just hold it for about 10 seconds and then when I'm letting it go I sort of kind of go with the curling pattern and then it comes out like this you know this is why I shouldn't have worn this like a dark color ah. so it is like a curl like a tight curl but it will fall eventually so that's why I kind of like mine a little bit um tight because once they fall they fall into like beachy waves you're gonna want to curl one one piece of strand going frontwards like how i just showed you and then one going backwards the reason why i do it like let me show y'all what i mean so now instead of being on top we're gonna do it on the bottom and then we're gonna curl it the same way You see how they're both going like different directions because then they're going to turn into just one piece of curl because they're obviously curled the same way and it's going to look like you just have one curl going down. You want to go and do them backwards, frontwards, backwards and frontwards. More of volume and they're not all just pinned in one spot. You know, I just don't like that. Like so. So you see how one is going front and then one is going back. You want to have them like this so they all won't bunch up into just one like I said. You see how they're not like coming all together there so you want to grab an inch of hair well depending how you want your curl to be now we're gonna go we're gonna place the one on the bottom of the piece of hair and you want to curl in so you're curling in you see how the your last piece of hair is going outwards that's how you want to put it we curled it this way we're gonna put the wand on top of the hair and then you're gonna put the piece of hair going backwards. You see how it's now the, the less. Oh, fuck, I keep doing that. What the fuck? Cooperate with me. Like I said, put it on top and then start curling backwards instead of curling inwards. And you wanna do this all throughout your hair, both ways. Um, I know sometimes you're gonna just do them the same way, but it's okay as long as you're doing them once in a while, like inwards, backwards, inwards, backwards, instead of just being like, all your hair is gonna be inwards. 
because then it's just gonna bunch up into one curl and they're gonna look like they're stuck together instead of having like a bunch of curls and looking volume, you know, having volume in your hair. Now I'm sectioning it off into the second section, which is the middle part kind of of my hair. Again, you're gonna wanna one inch is gonna go inwards, so you're going in. Like this, wait 10 seconds, or if you're um, oh shit, ah, look. you see how my curling iron curls really fast if yours doesn't get hot that fast and it doesn't curl that fast then you might want to leave it a little bit longer but mine is usually 10 seconds the second curl since we already curled this one in this one's gonna be out so you see how this one on this side of hair you won't be able to tell but this one is going out We have the second row all done. These are the curls like this. Let me show you from the so guys. I forgot to mention, um, I didn't put no product in my hair if because obviously right now it's like two in the morning and I'm just gonna KO, I don't have nowhere to go. But if you're gonna go out and you want to curl your hair, I would suggest you spray your hair all of it where the hairspray it lasts you longer and when you curl them they won't fall easily like you see how they're already kind of like falling this is what i mean when they look curl at first they look tight but then they end up eventually falling so that's this is how i like mine but if i was to go out i would spray the strand and then go in with the curler so it could lock in the heat and then the curl stays put longer you know like it will stay curl longer now I'm going into the top section. My hair is really thick, so I kind of have to um, have it into four rows. So basically, this would have been my last, but I like to use the top row um, to curl it differently. So I'm just going to start curling how I've been curling my hair, and then I'm going to come back. So I'm done with the third part, which was like the middle-ish again um, part. Oh shit. Now we're gonna go on to the top one, which is the last one. And now this one, I part it to where I want my hair to be part at. So I usually like my hair to be part this way. Oh my God, I look like crazy. So, and curl them. And these ones, I like to go on the bottom and then curl them like that because since these are on top of my head i don't want to curl them like outward and then it'd be up you know i don't even know if you get what i'm saying but it'll be folded like up and it'll just look weird
though since I do like my curls my bangs to be curled I don't want them curled like this so what I do I don't go from I don't start from the top and curl it I go from maybe the middle of my bangs and then I curl it inwards so it will fall all together instead of like going outwards Let it go. And now you see how the curl goes inwards instead of how it was going outwards. Then I just blend it in. I kind of comb out the curl. So with my fingers, I'm like kind of finger combing it to go flowing back. So you see how my bangs flip. I don't like them to be all curled up. Like I still want them. Alright guys, so I hope y'all guys enjoyed watching how I curl my hair. If you enjoyed this video, give them a thumbs up. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet.